that at that same era of time again i was realizing the impact that visual imagery has on us now this isn't new to me i've thought it for as long as i can remember especially doing art you think a lot professionally as an artist you're going to have to be responsible as as much as you can about how your imagery might affect people yeah. uh, you can't control that but you have to be responsible for what you're trying to say at least and, uh, and then let it go do what it does but um my personal philosophy for all these years as an as an adult has been that we're really affected by visual stimuli i think you know we don't get a chance to process how this stuff affects us though wherever we go we're highly visual and and we don't we just move through the day we're busy we don't have time to think you know how did that brick wall affect me but actually most things do have an impact so mm -hmm. i decided i would take um images from a lot of art that i've done over the years and just create a deck of cards and they're large the, in this first book on intuition uh, it's called Illuminara Intuitive Journal. So I also love it for people to journal because then you're having a conversation. You're going to that quiet place. Um, you could just be complaining when you do your journaling, but maybe it needs to get out. And then after you do it for a while, you start actually asking questions and you start allowing answers and it can be interesting. Um, so Illuminara Intuitive Journal with these large image cards is designed so that you turn a card over, maybe you do them at random, you just pick one at random, and then you look at the imagery and you actually spend a few moments thinking about how it impacts you. Um, does it remind you of anything? We have really strong memories and we have really strong associations the way our brains, you know, group things together and you know for us to understand things and and it's we're very unique so we have uh, what Jung called the collective unconscious right. and we have the personal yeah. so if i said to you let's say we were we had one of those cards in front of us and you you had a picture of an apple we would agree that we uh know what an apple is you know what an apple is i know what an apple is but if i asked you to write about your impressions, memories, feelings, anything, even random things that don't really make sense, but they come to mind. If you were to write all that stuff down in the journal, you would then be able to share with me, and it would be very different from yep. my first memory of an apple. Like, can, do you have any childhood memories of an apple? Oh, sure, yeah. Name one. Just uh, name one. Well, I, I can remember uh, bobbing for apples in South America. Okay, now that's cool, because yeah. my early memory is also bobbing for apples in texas wow and, the, That's and funny. i didn't expect you to bob like Isn't i that was funny yeah yeah and it hurt my teeth i didn't like yeah. i'm sticking my face and in this cold water and icky other people have been in it and yeah, all I, what this were the mom's uh, thinking yeah right you know, yeah it was supposed to be a yeah. fun party my tooth hurts Ugh. yeah i wasn't digging it yeah <laughs> So, but you're, see, I could spend a long time talking to you. Well, tell me about South America. What kind of apples do they have there? I mean, we start going places. That's right. The important part of it is is uh, you being able to enjoy your own experience with whatever had an influence on you, and in this case, an apple in South America, and then me being able to share that with you. And then when you allow me to hear about your memory and your impression of what an apple means, I'm actually valuing you. 